Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will walk you through setting up a lab to practice memory forensics. I hope you are aware about the significance of computer memory in digital forensics. Are you excited to acquire memory, preserve it, and process it? If you need a quick refresher on the basic concepts of memory forensics, I invite you to read this article in MCSI's library. You can find the link to this article in the description box below. Let's get started with our memory forensics project. Here is how we'll go about this. We will first set up our lab. Then we will perform a simple memory forensics exercise using our lab setup. We will require two virtual machines for this lab. You can utilize VirtualBox to set up the virtual machines. The first VM runs Windows operating system. This will be the machine from which we will acquire memory. On this machine, have the Dump It tool installed to acquire the memory. The second VM is another Windows virtual machine. This will be the machine on which we will analyze the acquired memory dump. Here, have Volatility tool installed to process the acquired memory dump. Once our lab is set up, we can start the memory forensics exercise. On the first Windows virtual machine, start an application. For example, open a PDF file in Adobe PDF Reader. Then using Dump It tool, acquire the memory of this VM. Wait for the memory to be acquired completely. Then transfer the acquired memory dump to the second VM, our analysis machine. On the second Windows VM, once the memory dump has been transferred, you can process it using volatility. Here are some tasks that you can do. Identify operating system information about the first Windows VM from the memory dump. It is possible to find information about the OS version and architecture. Next, print the active process listing identified on the memory dump. See if you can spot the entry for Adobe PDF Reader. Dump the process memory associated with Adobe Reader. Use strings tool against the process memory dump. See if you can spot the name of the PDF file that you had opened. Were you able to find the name of the PDF file within the memory dump? Congratulations! If you cannot find it, keep looking. You will get there. What you observed in this lab is just the tip of the iceberg. Within a memory dump, it is possible to find sensitive information like passwords, encryption keys, malicious processes, etc. Here is another important concept to be aware of. On the first virtual machine, we acquired the memory onto the VM itself. In the real world, it is always recommended to acquire the memory into external media like a hard disk or a network drive. This is to ensure minimal interaction with the affected machine. Another important concept to remember during forensic investigations is hashing. Once you acquire any evidence, it is critical to ensure that the evidence remains unchanged throughout the entire investigation. For this reason, a hash value can be calculated. If the hash value of a piece of evidence, say a memory dump, taken once the evidence is acquired, matches the hash value taken after the evidence has been processed, then it is assured that the integrity of the evidence is maintained. There is an article in MCSI's library that highlights the importance of hashing. You can find the link to that article in the description box below. Do you want to try another memory forensics exercise? There is an article in MCSI's library that walks you through another exercise. Try it out. You can find the link to this article in the description box below. Did you enjoy working on Windows Memory Forensics? As a next step, acquire memory from a Linux virtual machine and analyze it using volatility. I am sure you will find it interesting. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.